What's going on guys and welcome back to the Team 69 Crew channel. Now today's video, it's been released on GTA 5 that the Lowriders Part 2 DLC has been released and I'm now going to show you some of the facts because I saw a few videos of people getting the information slightly wrong so uh, I'm now going to show you exactly what there is to offer in this new DLC. So first of all instead of going to the cars first we're going to head to ammunition and they've actually released two new weapons. Um, one being the new sawn off shotgun double barrel, it fires both shots in one push of the button which is ridiculous in damage, as you can see by the meter it's off the chart um, and the, guard, the, gun, the gun below it is the compact rifle which is basically like an AK-74 um, again it's not very good on damage but it is like a little uh, secondary Uzi so um, they're, not, they're priced quite reasonably, 13 grand and 12 grand I guess isn't too bad for the guns but, um, but yeah so they're the guns that's been released, there's been some new animations released as well um, but I'm not too fussed in animations, I'm not sure about how many people actually use them. Um, but now we're heading into the, into the cars themselves. So if I just sit here and show you. Now, my original plan on this video was going to be me buying a vehicle and upgrading it and showing you exactly what it looks like fully, fully tuned up. But, Rockstar being Rockstar again, and as you can see, the cars here, the Willard faction, isn't new, but the upgrades you can do to it, there's something called a donk and it makes it like a monster truck in a way but it's like a massive flashy lowrider as such um, with massive great big wheels, ridiculous suspension, it makes it about twice the height um, that's why that's new and at the top of the list. The new slam van looks amazing when it's done up uh, the Dundry Virgo I'm not sure if I would actually get but um, again it's obviously you can do it to uh, to uh, make it completely customizable like you can in Benny's usually um, the prices of the cars, 36k, 49.5 and, and the Dungeon Virgo is 165k before we even started on the upgrades. So that is a bit expensive. Um, so what I meant by Rockstar doing it again is the fact that if you buy the Slam Van, you can take it to Benny's as you would usually, but the upgrades cost way too much as per fucking usual. Um, it's, I'm, I'm only sort of swearing because it is actually kind of annoying because of the fact that the only people that are going to be able to make videos in customising these vehicles are people with modded accounts and shit tons of money and it's getting on my tits um, the Willard faction you can do again it's been in the uh, update for a while but the, you can put the dink, the donk, whatever it's called, upgrade into it now if you go to the uh, Benny's workshop with this car the lowrider customization only costs $164,000 which isn't too bad but if you want the donk it costs $674,000 which again is ridiculous in money. As you can see, I've only got five and uh, yeah, five hundred seventy-four thousand dollars. So it's not likely I'm going to be doing up any of these cars or any time in the future. It's just a waste of time. Um, so I'm not sure why Rockstar keep putting things up at so so much of a high cost. It's ridiculous. I, mean, I can understand people wanting to buy shark cards and Rockstar making money from that. But for fuck's sake, Rockstar, you know, lower the prices so people that play the game can actually buy something. Um, so unfortunately in this video I'm not going to be upgrading any of these cars but it's just to show you that these three cars are the new cars there was reports uh, in recent videos that there's going to be six cars released in this DLC there's not six cars it's just these three and one of which being one that's already out anyway so there's pretty much only one new vehicle because this has been out for a long time as well so it's only really the slam van um, aside from that the uh, weapon, like I said the weapons aren't too bad to use, the double barrel shotgun if you get someone really close to that, they don't stand a chance, so it's pretty much one hit kill. Um, the animation, again, I'm not too fussed in showing you that because I don't think many people get hyped for an animation in the DLC, they want to see what's new. Um, and like I say, unfortunately it's the first time ever that I've not been able to record any uh, upgrades of a vehicle because it just costs way too much and I refuse to buy shark cards. Um, so like I say, if you want to see some upgraded vehicles, go to some Ponzi channel that's got a modded account and you can go and watch them spend all the fucking money they haven't earned. Um, so yeah, unfortunately guys, like I say, I'm not going to be upgrading any vehicles in this, but this is just like an information for you. Um, so there's three new vehicles you can take to Benny's. Well, one being the slam van, the other two already being in the game. <laughs> um, two new weapons and the animations. Uh, aside from that, there's nothing else in this DLC. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I will make some more videos, trying to show you some easy tips and maybe potentially some more glitches on how you can get some easy money. Um, I released a, a car duplication one recently that was actually patched in the first day of release so I apologise for anybody that's seen the video recently and uh, can't do the glitch but that is the reason why because Rockstar's GIMP division are too quick in patching things these days. Um, so yeah, hopefully guys you enjoyed what I could do with this video. Um, apologies again for not being able to sit in there and upgrade a car because I would really like to do that but I just haven't got, I'm not, I'm not getting a wanted account and I'm not buying bloody shark cards just for Rockstar to, you know, rinse me of money, it's ridiculous. 
So, um, so yeah, hopefully, like I say, you enjoyed this. Make sure to leave some likes, comment below. More videos will be coming out soon as some glitches and stuff, and I'll release them as soon as I can, I can find them for you guys. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.